Justin, do you, I mean, you said pretty early in the process, long before, you know, with Tyreek and with like, Juju and everything that's coming in. What made Kansas City the place for you? Yeah, it was a, a challenging decision. You know, as you said, there's always been a history of great receivers here. And as a free agent in my position, you know, you want to go somewhere where there's a history of receivers, but there's also a spot for you on the team. And, uh, you know, it was really uh, our GM, Veach, he just uh, spoke to my agent and just gave him a lot of confidence that, hey, if you come here, we're going to give you a chance. And that's all I wanted was just to have a chance here. And I'm grateful the coaching staff has given me that so far. Coach Tobe mentioned you uh, and your work on special teams and how impressed he was. Can you just talk about how you've been you know, committed to special teams in the past and maybe how that played a role in your decision to come to Kansas City because they put oh, such an sure. emphasis on special teams? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, you never want to play Kansas City uh, when you're playing special teams. This is always a premier unit. And uh, for sure, you know, to play for Coach Tobe and, and just such an emphasis, you know, the assistant head coach is our special teams coordinator. Uh, you can feel that it's important. You know, it doesn't even need to be said. Uh, you can just tell by how much time we put into it and the effort we put into it. So I love that. It's always been something that's been important to me. Uh, and you can feel it with a lot of the other guys. So it's cool after practice. We already see a lot of guys working with each other, competing, knowing that those last couple spots on the roster are going to be decided by special teams. Patrick said it, it, he was down with you in Texas during the offseason. He actually called the, the GM and asked how fast you were. Just what was the rapport building like with you guys in that initial meeting? Yeah, Pat's been awesome. You know, to you know, me, I signed as a you know, futures contract and to reach out to me and invite me in the offseason before we ever met uh, to come down there and work uh, meant a big deal. You know, it, it definitely just showed me that he wanted to get to know who I was and wanted to see what I had to do. So uh, those first couple of weeks were fun. Uh, when we were just going through meetings virtually and we were hanging out and, and working out. Uh, he's got a great setup down there in Texas. You know, we went back after OTAs, and, and hopefully that can be a thing going forward. It sounds like he called you out of the blue, and you just picked it up, and it was Pat. Yeah, I just had a text that, hey, man, it's uh, Patrick Mahomes. And uh, so I was, I was you know, you don't get many of those texts uh, during the off season. How long did you spend on that? Uh, I spent two weeks and then uh, another week after the OTAs. Yeah. first got that text, somebody was messing with you? I definitely had to double check. Somebody could have got me pretty good because I didn't do anything to verify, but Texas area code was enough for me. What is the have an opportunity in Tampa to work with a, with a quarterback who also has high expectations for his Something receivers? Like <laughs> yeah, well, what was your biggest takeaway from Tom Brady to now transitioning to Mahomes? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I learned a lot of lessons from Tom, but, man, every single rep mattered so much. It didn't matter if we were working on a field in the off season or if it was training camp or in the game. That same focus and attention to detail carried over to every single one. And so working with Pat, you see so many of the same characteristics. You know, it's no surprise that two great quarterbacks are so similar in many ways and just his competitive competitiveness and mentality. Uh, and so I, and, and it's cool seeing Pat continue to grow, continue to make new throws, hearing him talk through the offense. So he's a great leader. Um, I'm really thankful to be playing with a quarterback like Pat. Going through the offseason program, seeing the playbook, now getting the reps in camp, what do you feel like this offense, this playbook sort of features you as a receiver? Yeah, I think uh, that's one of the things the coaching staff said when we came in. We had all new receivers, and they were just going to let us show our abilities, and uh, there was no preconceived notions. And so, uh, so far, I've been kind of the guy that's doing a little bit of everything. You know, in the off-season program, I was working on the outside, catching a lot of deep balls. And then here, so far in training camp, still a little bit on the outside, but trying to see if I can work on the inside in the slot. So I just want to be the guy that if anyone needs a break, if anyone goes down, you know, shoelace comes untied, that they can point to me and say 84, go in there and, and pick right up where they left off. And you said it's pretty clear that you've already gained Patrick's trust. Can you sense that on the field? Do you feel that chemistry that's been built down in Texas and now through uh, training camp? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's just, it's cool when you start seeing uh, plays the same way as the quarterback and things that might not be drawn on the playbook but you both just have this feeling that, hey, man, there's an opening outside if I break my route a certain way and that Pat hits you right out of your break. So uh, it's cool because that Pat has that ability to see the field and, and think past the playbook and see coverages. And so he speaks every day in our team meetings, and it makes it really clear what he wants from us at receiver. Justin, what is he like as a, as a teacher? In that moment? How does he sort of show his personality? How would you say he describes things from his point of view? Maybe? average quarterback does. He has such a great understanding of defenses, I think, is the first thing that shows. Um, 
you know, it's not just cover two, cover three. It's specific teams, how the Broncos run cover three, how the Chargers run cover three. Um, so I think that's the first thing that stands out. He's an unbelievable understanding of the defense. But then he also knows, you know, a new guy, hey, here's the best way to explain it. If you see uh, the far side safety crashing down, uh, you know, take it a little higher. You know, if the nickel pushes out to you, go inside. So uh, he d just does a great job of teaching without putting guys down, always trying to build people up. And I think that's a great leadership quality he has. And what's it like when you, when you have that discussion, you see it in practice, you actually go through it and it sort of connects? What's that, what's that feeling like for you? Oh, man, it's, it's a receiver's dream when you talk about something, uh, you know, in the film room and it translates over onto the field. So I think the more of those things we can do keeps building confidence for the game plans uh, going forward in the preseason and the regular season. Justin, in that, in that wide receiver room, you have a bunch of new receivers. Uh, who, who's someone that you're kind of leaning on that, you know, trying to figure out where to play, what play to play? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, Marquez Valdez-Gain is, is one that, for me, uh, He's been a great leader. You know, we came into the NFL the same year, uh, but, you know, just he's from Tampa. I played the last four years in Tampa. We got to spend some time down there in the offseason, and, uh, you know, he's helped me become a better deep ball receiver, I think. You know, I caught a lot of those passes in the offseason, and we have similar body types, and just how he attacks routes, you know, how he attacks leverage. I think one thing you're going to see from him this year is he's a lot more than just a deep ball receiver. He's been catching balls over the middle, uh, getting off press really well, so I think he's going to have a huge season this year at MBS. Related to that, I mean, Marquez you know, had the fact that he was going to get to do more things and be asked to do more here. It was a big deal. Do you kind of feel like that same opportunity that they're going to be asked to do more than the Chiefs can maybe have an opportunity to do in Tampa? Yeah, that's what was great when we came in, and they, there was, you know, they didn't put anybody into a box. You know, I thought um, my time in Tampa, I spent a lot of time in the slot, and I would like to run some more deep balls, and so coming here and in this offense, man, all we do is run deep balls. So I've been uh, been loving the chance to get out and run, stretch my legs, and uh, just run some routes that you know I maybe haven't ran since college. So I definitely, absolutely. Can we say that deep ball threat is your strength? Then? Yeah, well, it's becoming that. You know, I think uh, I, you know just body type, uh, you know, weight size. A lot of people don't expect me to open it up and go deep on them. So uh, I think. Our DBs have learned, uh, and hopefully we'll be teaching some other DBs going forward in the regular season. You mentioned how, how Patrick can extend plays, get creative. How much does that change your mindset when you're out there that you never give up on a route, never give up on a play because he can make things happen long after other quarterbacks can't? Oh, my gosh, it's so different. You know, I there was, <laughs> there was uh, a play in the film room. I was on the backside, and I was like 50 yards downfield, and I started – slowing down because most quarterbacks can't make that throw across the field and they said hey keep accelerating if you're open he'll find you and sure enough we've hit a couple of those already so it's uh it's different that doesn't matter how deep you are uh if you're open he's going to find you and, and that's the truth patrick says you're fast who, who on this team is faster than you on this team uh well, i'm going with all the speed in the receiver room so i think uh nbs and mccall uh MVS McCoy would be a great race for who's the fastest on this team. Thanks. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.